levels. But if you look at a split push later on into the game, we know that Yasuo is so good into the Nars bot lane, actually. Got it. Pulled out. Ignite's still going to take in the belly, but he is going to make it. That broke out, but you Rasa. notice there's this. Actually, look out. Ulti going to come in. He's going to connect immediately to the chase. You see the follow-up. Paranoia comes out. The ulti cannons looking for the outplay. Is he going to go under tower? The fear is there. Yankos wants to get one back. Can he turn it anymore? Does pull out. One for one. Plus Ignite is ready. They are going all in now. Looking for it. They've blocked up with Deed. Immediately the cleanse tries to come out, but you can't stop the knock. They're trying to get a Predator coming through. They just want the Tom Kent. They're not even going to waste any time on Yarnin. Can they get it though? Wadid is still alive. The knock up. Where does it go? Caps still trying to make it pretty. Whippo making his way out. The pool there to reset the aggro. Oh, oh Yanko. But here comes Yankos. The knock up goes out. Bye bye. Good that you're going to flee, Caps, but you're going to die in the end. Was used earlier in the trade against G2's bottom lane. That was definitely missing for him to all in. Brox is going in. Source is on his way. There's no flash on perks. Well, Aftershock, a lot of damage here. Oriana may not be able to close this one out. Of course, the it's burst Orn. is gone. Orn is going to try to come right. in. Whoa. Just going to get it with the dip there. Just hit him with the ram. Why not? Right. That's a KS right there from Source if I have ever seen one. Hillisang is here too. This is the trio. Will they go for the play? Burks go. flash out to safety. Dash out. Hillisang not hesitating there, but here comes the rest of the lineup. Yankos in the middle of the ring. Burks! Sombrero for nothing! Well, at least it looks cool, but this fight may not turn in their favor. Cat's gonna find the knockup now. He needs to make it out to safety immediately. The flash, the wonder is on the sign. Megan R is coming. Where's the double bounce gonna be? Where's the Goomba stop? He's gonna look for it. Pulls back. Does not want to get anything else. Oh, big fight. No one dying here. Perks, of course, will be very mad. Did not get to place the ball, I believe, on Yankos and then use the ulti. He's not been able to do something yet with the Nars here around this turret. Wave is pretty. Thin, but he's doing something. Oh, AR, okay, he's back immediately going to try to find the engage. Hillsang trying to lock up one member. The Nocturne ultimate coming out. Whipple trying to find his way into the middle of the team. Yarnin going to try to disengage with the Woo. ultimate for now. Both sides backing off. A lot of R buttons pushed, but nobody going to die quite yet. Caps, though, looking to change that. Tom Kent's going to try to bring it home. The knockup not going to connect. Caps is toppling without a teleport, but they're still making a play. We're going to throw out the ultimate. It is going to catch first. Whoa! The beast has been unleashed. Perks oh. goes down. You can't stop that. Tom Kent's devour wouldn't have saved him. Fnatic still finding the pick. Caps is uncontested on the top side. Wonder uncontested on the bottom. But Fnatic control the tempo. They can look to make a play with D trying to save the backs of his allies as Wonder grabs his tier two. Perks is still dead for 10 seconds, but they're on their way. 10k and dropping, gentlemen. 8k. The Baron could be the deciding moment. Wonder, no rage built up on the Nar. He needs a little bit more. He needs more time to get started. With D has been caught out. Caps finds the engage. The windwall stops Yarnin from doing anything. Yankos is just an innocent bystander. He can do nothing but sit and watch the destruction as G2 run for the hills. Wonder now locked up and taken down. Blippo so strong in this game. Onto that inhibitor tower, but that's assuming Fnatic don't pull the trigger. Oh, they're pulling it. Source wants to hold again. It all comes out. They managed to connect on the Wood Deed. Now oh, the oh, they don't even need anything else. The follow up is there from Proxa. The shockwave is too little, too late. Perks is now running for his life. One more auto going to connect. The stun does come through. And they're retreating. No hesitation for Broxa to tank the tower. Beautiful from Fnatic. And again, it's everything we talked about in the pick and ban phase. Five-man group together, run at the enemy team, and you do not care about their damage because all your members can stay alive. Now, Wonder did cancel his teleport. He's still in that bottom lane, about to start hitting onto this inhibitor turret. But the Baron recalls will come in in just a few moments and shouldn't be able to get much more than one. I just want to highlight as well that the Vladimir pick and team fights has been huge. Another way for them is if they can engage with Yankos into a big Meganar, there's Here we go. I'm still making oh. Oh. Yankos. Instantly, the team is just cut down. Brox are coming in, running everybody down. Fnatic playing with their food. Wonder running for the hills. Oh, he's still tired. He can't get any rage. Goes taken out. That's the double for Caps. Beautiful fight for Fnatic. Thank God G2 banned that Saya. That would have been so hard to deal with. Instead of this Vladimir, that's effectively one-shotting the backline of G2 in every single fight. We thought it was going to be a Caps comp, but it's all Blippo all the time. And Fnatic, a rough game yesterday. Maybe some started to doubt, but the Fnatic faithful are alive in the EU LCS crowd. They're going to go get for the fountain. Get them, baby! They know how much it hurts the pride of G2. They're going to close it out in the end. Fnatic takes sole control of second place. Fnatic telling everyone, no, we still do not need Reckless or an AD carry in the bot lane. We can still just pick mages and beat whoever we are against.